Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're covering advanced vocal mixing. To get the most from your music, watch the entirety of each chapter for a complete understanding of the topic. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Start with clip gain. For this video, all of the tips I'm listing can be used in this order as a chain, or you can take the info from this video that you like and incorporate it into what you already do. Clip gain is great at balancing your vocals dynamics and reduces the need for more noticeable compression later on in the chain. Find all of the aspects of the vocal that don't fit within the dynamic range you want for your vocal, then adjust the clips accordingly. Although this is a lot more time consuming than compression or a vocal writer, it's a more professional way of balancing dynamics. Let's take a listen to it. These lights go down for no one Burning on a neon sign Let's shake hands, I'm moving in This is life on the borderline Isolate Siblings Similar to how clip gain controls dynamics, we can control sibilance by isolating it and putting it on another track. We could also use clip gain to reduce the volume, but you'll get better results by placing the S's on a new track and turning it down. Additionally, we'll omit some forms of processing from the sibilance track, like additive EQ and saturation, to keep these from becoming harsh. Let's take a listen. These lights go down from the Let's shake hands, I'm moving in This is life on the borderline If you're enjoying the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps us bring you more videos. Tune with note stabilization. If your vocal needs tuning, Metatune is a great option for this since it utilizes note stabilization, which reduces the need for a note-by-note -note tuner like Melodyne. We'll use a medium length stabilization setting, select the correct notes for the vocal, and use a slower timing. These settings will keep it sounding natural and reduce unwanted tuning artifacts. Let's take a listen. These lights go down for no one, burning on a neon sign. Let's shake hands, I'm moving in. This is life on the Multiband Upward Compression We can use a multiband compressor to increase the signal from the noise floor up while leaving the peaks alone. This reduces the dynamic range while increasing perceivable detail. With multiband dynamics processors, we can use a positive range with a compression setting to create the effect. I'll use three bands and isolate them on aspects of the vocal that I want to amplify. Let's take a listen. These lights go down from no one Burning on a neon sign Let's shake hands, I'm moving in This is life on the borderline Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Emulate analog with modulated saturation. Instead of using an analog emulation plugin, try a demo of FabFilter Saturn 2 and utilize its modulation settings to recreate analog sounds. In my opinion, the complex routing this plugin lets you create gets you a lot closer to analog tonality than most other plugins. I made a preset called Vocal Byte, which uses an envelope to push a distortion band on my mids into higher frequencies whenever the vocal is sung. As a result, we get program-dependent high-frequency distortion that achieves a biting sound. Let's take a listen. These lights go down for no one Burning on a neon sign Let's shake hands, I'm moving in This is life on the borderline Dense Reverb Trick Reverb on a vocal is a classic sound, but an expected one. That said, we can use some creative processing 
to make our vocal reverb sound unique. I'm going to use a bus to send my vocal to a parallel track on which I'll place my reverb. Once I dial in the settings I want, I'll insert an upward compressor and heavily compress the reverberated signal from the noise floor up. This creates unrealistically dense reverb. Now, if you can think of additional ways that we could experiment with the sound of reverb on a vocal, let me know in the comments. Let's take a listen. These lights go down for no one Burning on a neon sign If you'd like our custom plugin presets, audio samples, loops, download sheets, a members only badge next to your name in the comments, and more, consider joining with the link in the description. Soothe and Golfos at end. At the end of my vocal chain, I'm going to subtly use both Soothe 2 and a Golfos EQ to reduce resonance and masking frequencies respectively. Since we separated our siblings earlier on, we can focus Soothe 2 on the mids and then use subtle Golfos settings to clarify the signal. If you don't have these plugins, don't worry about this stage of processing, but just know that it's an option for adding a little polish to a vocal track. Let's take a listen. These lights go down for no one Burning on a neon sign Electric hands are moving in This is life on the borderline Unique Siblings Processing This last part is just something a little strange that I like to do when I separate the siblings, which is to add a reverb plugin to it. I'll blend in the effect but no matter what, it'll give your siblings an unnaturally diffuse sound, which sounds more relaxed than typical siblings. Now, if you're like me and you really don't like the sound of excessive siblings, this is a way you can turn it into something that you'll actually enjoy listening to. Let's take a listen. These lights go If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.